nine week old Ellie Grace is back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a puppy with dry flaky skin. In our last video, when we were trimming Ellie Grace for the first time, we noticed her skin was dry. So we're gonna fix it just like this. Are you ready to learn the secret? Let's roll it. I'm gonna use this little bath basin. It's gonna be perfect for her, she's tiny. Warm water, lukewarm, not too hot, never too hot. Fill this up, not all the way, because she's very small, to make her feel comfortable in this smaller situation. This will be the first time that I've bathed Ellie Grace. Put her little puppy, oh, jingle toes, right in her little bath. Because she does have some dry, flaky skin, we are going to give her a super awesome condition today. We're gonna let it sit on her for about 15 minutes. So I have towels warming up in the dryer right now. Going to wrap her with warm towels once I have the conditioner worked all the way through her, and I'm just gonna hold her through that. At that time, I might just turn on the little dryer that we're gonna use and get her used to the dryer sound itself. We're using Petals and Tails shampoo on her today because this stuff is amazing. It's gentle, but it's amazing. This happens to be their Winter and Camilla and Nutmeg. It's just a good gentle cleanser as well as a preventative. And also because Ellie is suffering from a little bit of dry skin, this is gonna add great moisture into her coat. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a loofah around her face just to get it wet. I covered her nose. I know. This is all new. So it's great that at nine weeks old, we're starting to teach her all of this. Don't ever wait too long, guys, with your puppies and make it a slow process. I have Ellie Grace in here right now and there is no other dogs on my schedule right now. It's just Ellie. And it's a great way to work with your puppies and to bond with them so that later you can obviously have them, you know, a tighter grooming schedule. But for right now, I want to make sure I take the time with Ellie so that her and I can bond very nicely together. Set us both up for success in the future with all of our grooming sessions that we're going to have for the rest of Ellie's life. I always let shampoo sit on them for about five minutes, but I keep working it through. I just don't let it sit. I work it through with the water, add a little water to it. Don't forget, it's very important to wash around. They're behind everywhere in their paw pads. Go ahead and make this a nice experience by massaging her. The water's nice and warm. She's not cold. And this is a great first experience for me and Ellie. I'm very happy about this. So again, this is just the shampooing process. Her skin is dry. We're really focusing on her skin today. Okay, and now I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna put Ellie back in there. It's a good water temperature. And I'm gonna gently start rinsing Ellie. And if she wants to stand here on the platform, I'm okay with that. You definitely have to be sure to rinse all products off of your dog and rinse all the shampoo off so that we can add the conditioner. Good Ellie Grace. Now I've already pre-mixed the conditioner. Shake it one more time. Good, Ellie. This stuff is amazing. This is the magic. And we're gently gonna start applying it to Ellie everywhere. Armpits, toes, everywhere. Beard, absolutely. This is going to condition her, seal her follicles. It's going to gently exfoliate and remove the crusty, dry skin and put good nutrients back in and balance out the skin and coat. After I apply this, we're gonna wrap her in a, a warm towel so that it can continue to do its job. It's kind of like a conditioning treatment like we would do for our hair, guys. It's the same. We can do that for our dogs as long as we're using the right pet safe products. Massage it all the way into the skin. Good, Ellie Grace in her little paw pads everywhere. Conditioner actually acts as a degreaser too. So if you have a lot of buildup, your conditioner is going to gently remove that 
much better than a degreasing shampoo that is just going to dry out the skin and coat. Under the eyes where she gets a lot of buildup, we're going to try to seal those follicles too. These are gentle products, so I can get them around the eyes. I just don't want to put it in the eyes. Definitely around her behind where she gets dirty. Like I said, your conditioner acts as a degreaser as well. Good job, Ellie Grace. It's been 15 minutes. Ellie is actually quite comfortable in here. I hate to take her out. I'm going to rinse her now and then we're going to dry her, brush her, comb her, all the good stuff. I like to run a comb through that conditioner. When we're rinsing, since we've conditioned her so well, now we want to use slightly coolish water, not cold, never cold. We want the hair cuticle to close in the conditioner. Yes. It seals the cuticle, which makes healthier hair. I know we've conditioned her skin, but now we're worried about that hair cuticle too. I'm gonna use cool-ish water to rinse her so that we can keep all that hydration in the hair cuticle itself, which is like the hair shaft. Seal the goodness in there to keep benefiting her for weeks. Good, Ellie. The flow set to low. I don't need a high flow of water for her. Rinse thoroughly. Cover her nose, tilt it down, give it a little rinse, go to other areas. Good, Ellie Grace. Whoa, good job. And I can't wait to show you the results that we're gonna get from this. These Yves Saint Bernard products, the reason I have them is because they fix problems. They also prevent, but they fix problems. Hold the ears down, rinse the product off. If you leave product in your dog's coat and against the skin, it can quickly irritate just because you have buildup now and it will invite dirt and other things to stick to it. We want her coat to repel all that, so thoroughly rinse. With conditioner, what you need to understand, by letting the conditioner sit on like we did, we let the conditioner do the job, especially since we wrapped her in a warm towel that continued the conditioning process for Ellie Grace. I want to be sure to thoroughly rinse all the product off because I already allowed the conditioner to do what it needed to do. Now I need to rinse it off, so. Don't ever think you don't thoroughly rinse them when you do a, a conditioning treatment. You don't want to leave product in the coat. We're going to turn the dryer on before I even put the airflow on her. This dew's dryer is going to be perfect for her. It's quiet. It produces nice warm heat. You can control the temperature, slow, medium, high. You are able to adjust so you can be hands-free and that's important. I'm going to set her down. And I'm just gonna continue to towel her a bit. I can actually turn that down a little. It gets pretty warm, it's nice. But you don't want the airflow directly against your dog's skin. It could be drying, and we're trying to counteract anything that's gonna dry out Ellie's skin and coat. If you haven't watched the first video in this series, definitely go watch it. It's us giving Ellie her first little trim. Good Ellie Grace, good girl. This is the second video in the series of us giving her her bath. And I explained in that first video how she had some dry skin and we were gonna take care of that. So that's what we're doing today. The next video that we'll be doing in about a week or so is her sanitary trimming. Paw pads, trimming around the private areas to keep your dog clean. So I'll show you how to do that with little Ellie Grace with your puppy. So I do have this aiming towards her. As I'm telling her, it's it's helping the drying process. Good, Ellie. Good. Oh my, she smells good. If you get on top of dry, flaky skin early, you'll nip it in the bud. If you wait until you have a really severe dry, flaky issue, it's harder to get on top of. And it may take a, a good bath and condition every week to straighten it out. She doesn't seem to mind this little dew's dryer one bit. It's handy. I'll link it in the description below. They, they actually just came out with a, a newer model. I'm quite satisfied with this one. I'll link it for you guys. If you have a small puppy, this is a great dryer. And this can follow them through as adult dogs. You can use this at home. It's, it's great to have hands-free so that you are able to brush and comb and fluff your dog 
while you're drying them. That's a whole idea of hands-free. It looks really balanced. It looks really good. I'm just lifting it with the comb. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. She had some flaky crusties, didn't she? Mm -hmm. And, and we took care of it, guys. She didn't have a skin problem. She just had dry skin. I get dry skin. And what do I have to do? I have to hydrate my skin. Same with our dogs. It's important to brush and comb because that actually stimulates blood flow. Continues to straighten out the skin and coat. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. You are my favorite little schnauzer. Don't tell the others. Puppy coat is different from adult coat. Her hair follicles don't share as many hairs as they're going to when she gets her adult coat and that usually starts to come in about four months old you'll start to see more coarser stiffer hairs in her coat and eventually at about probably six to eight months we'll see mostly adult coat on ellie grace and don't worry you guys will get to see that because it's going to be part of this series from puppy up Take the time to enjoy these moments of grooming with them. Make it enjoyable. Do it when you have time. Make it a bonding experience for you and your pet, which is only going to increase the bond between you and your puppy. It's, it's, it's all good. Trust me. You know what else you're going to see when you balance out the skin and coat? You see how black and shiny her black coat is? That's because we sealed the cuticle and we sealed all the good stuff in. We're seeing not a dull coat, we're seeing a bright color. Your dog's color will pop when you condition your dogs. And I, I want you to condition your dog every time you wash them. I do it too for every dog I groom, whether it's my own dogs or it's my client pets. They all get conditioned. I'm setting them up for success when they go home. When you condition a dog's coat, you also, because we're preserving the hair follicle, you will also notice that they stay brushed out longer. They're easier to brush out because we have sealed each individual hair cuticle. This was a needed treatment for Ellie today and we corrected it in one condition. We used the Petals and Tails shampoo. It was a nice gentle cleanser. You don't want a harsh cleanser <laughs> ever. You don't need, you just need to gently cleanse and then condition. She's all done, guys. You can see what that conditioner did by just putting the color back in. It sealed everything in after it was conditioned. Even here, conditioner helps with the eye buildup because if we condition and seal those hair cuticles, it will be less likely to cake up with, with eye buildup. It might just slide right out of the coat. Smash the like button. Smash it for Ellie Grace. She's helping us learn how to take care of our puppies at home. Next video is a sanitary trim. I'm going to trim her nails as well in that video. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss it. We'll see you in the next one. We'll see you in the next one.